G'day sports fans, it's Fair 100 here, how are you guys all going today? Uh, milestone! So, 80 subscribers and this is my 150th video. Isn't that crazy? Uh, I'm going to be putting something up on the screen, about here, somewhere, about here. It's right there somewhere, um, is a certificate I got from YouTube, saying congratulations to getting 80 subs. It's pretty cool. I didn't think 80 subs was a milestone, but that's <laughs> pretty awesome, I'll take it. Anything to help grow, right? So, this video is me just talking about how thankful I am to get to 80 subs so far, and how much of an adventure it's been so far, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kinda get a little real with you guys about some stuff. So, I kinda semi-rehearsed this, but, <laughs> so, I... It's my dream for my YouTube channel to grow into something bigger, like for it to become a business and make money out of it. That would be, that'd be amazing. That'd be awesome fun. Um, because I never really knew what else I wanted to do in life, and a lot of people tell me it's a silly, crazy dream you never achieve it, and a lot of people don't. And if it doesn't pan out that way, it doesn't matter. I enjoy making videos. It's a lot of fun. I love communicating with you guys, and it's a blast. Um, but. Diverging from what I was going to say, but uh, a lot of people, like a lot of bigger YouTubers, 80 subscribers is nothing, they probably make that in a day. To me, getting to 80, it's 80 people that I know and don't know that, that follow what I do and watch my videos, and that's awesome. I think it's brilliant. Like, you guys are really cool that you that you even bother to hit the subscribe button and then probably ignore it, but I mean, you go to that effort anyway, and I really appreciate you because it's something that I would love to turn into something else, and it's fun anyway, it's something that motivates me and keeps me going. And we're going to get into why that is right now. So, I'm going to use this video as an opportunity to reach out to you guys and um, give you an idea of like, what I'm about, my motivations, and why I do what I do, and why I'm going to keep doing it. So, years ago I used to work a lot. Of course, I was a very active worker when I was younger. Um, I used to work at an airport, which is really right near my house. <laughs> and um, I used to move like several ton of bags a day, and I was pretty fit, I was pretty strong. Um, and then that job kind of filled through after about four years, which is a pity. And then I had trouble finding work after that, because where I live there's not a lot of work going unless you know people and it's complicated. And then I kind of got sick. So I did started the channel years ago, years ago for fun. And then I came back to it and started doing the reviews and stuff right after, not long after I started to get ill. And what I was diagnosed with after going to doctors, driving seven hours to go and see doctors, see specialists to get diagnosed was I have cirrhotic arthritis, which is a form of arthritis that inflames your joints and your tendons and um, it makes it painful and hard to get around, you lose all your body strength. So there was a point where like my hands, I couldn't straighten them more than this, and I couldn't clench them more than this. I've only got, I probably, I've gotten better now, now that I get treatment and stuff, and I've probably got like 60% of my total strength I used to have. It used to be a lot worse. It used to be painful for me to just get out of bed and stuff. So I was taking Nurofen every day. It's a constant pain. I got to a state of depression where I, well, I guess I call it depression. I didn't want to live anymore. Like, to be quite honest, I didn't want anything to do with it. I wanted to just stop. I had enough. I thought about it a lot about there was no point in being around anymore and I had no sense of purpose. I just didn't, just didn't really care. I just wanted the pain to end. So then I started doing the YouTube stuff again. I gave myself a sense of purpose. I started making videos and playing games because playing games has always been my escape. And when I got sore, it was even a greater escape because for a while I'd forget everything I'm dealing with and what I'm going through and I just escape to that world, whatever it was, whether it be a racing game or an adventure game or, and I could escape to that and be somebody else. So then I decided I'd, I'd try and use that positive energy and channel into videos and, and, and give that to people as well, the, the positive energy and I try to have a lot of fun with what I do. Um, so that's why it's kind of my dream to develop into a business because it means that there's no... I get treatment every week now, it's not fun, but there's no ideal certain prognosis about it, like I could get, I could one day get better, who knows, I've been doing the treatment for a couple of years, like a year or two now, I could get better, I could get worse, I could stay the way I am, nobody really knows, it's not, it's a genetic thing, the only person in my family that has it despite that, um, you don't really know where it's going to go, so, for me, doing this, it's something that I can always do, no matter what happens to me, I can always do this, I can always play games and make videos for you guys and have a lot of fun and try and channel that positive energy and get friends involved and whether it be friends um, here in town or friends online on my discord or a lot of great people. I have so many good friends and family that I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for because they've helped me get through so much stuff. 
so I'm just telling you guys this like it may seem a bit much, but I'm, I'm sharing this because I like to know where I stand with people. And for me personally, I like to think that if I'm honest with you guys like this, and you know where I'm, I'm, where I'm coming from and what I've, what I've done and what I've been through, and what motivates me to keep doing this, and what motivates me to have the positive energy and have fun, then maybe you guys will understand more about the reason I make the content I do and what I do, and it's just, you might, some of you might relate, and there will probably be people that go on YouTube like I did to escape from it all, so there's probably a lot of you guys out there that have been through similar tough stuff, or even maybe the same thing as me, who knows. Um, so, for that, I appreciate all you guys that watch my videos, and getting to 80 subscribers means a big deal to me, I'd love to reach the 100, it's a good milestone, the first 100 is always tough, and I'd love to grow up from there. Regardless whether it comes to paid businesses or not, don't really, I don't really care that much. Either way, because it's fun and it gives me a sense of purpose. I'm going to try and find work this year and hopefully get a bit more uh, income. I just get uh, income assistance at the moment from uh, what Australia has. It's called Centrelink. So if you're not Australian, Centrelink is a company that you go to and you, they help you find work or they give you money until you can. So with my disabilities and stuff, they've been helping me out, keep me going. So I'm hoping to find work now I'm a bit better. Hoping that I can find something I can do. In the meantime, I do this to keep myself entertained, and it's lots of fun. So, 80 subs, this is my 150th video. That's a lot of work, a lot of editing, a lot of music making, um, and I haven't disliked a moment of it. I've enjoyed every minute, and I hope to keep doing it for a long time, regardless of what happens. So, um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to make this video to say thanks to all you guys, and now you know where I come from, and I'm hoping that, you know, some of you guys understand and you know, so let me know in the comment section below you know if um if you go through some tough times or you you have been or you've known somebody who's gone through it or you get it really appreciate that um every comment and like that you put on a video uh, helps it get found so if you like it dislike it i don't really mind either way uh it helps videos get found and helps my channel grow so we can bring together more people that's why i have a discord and a facebook page i like to i like to bring people together i've got a lot of good friends and i like to introduce them to more and more new people because everybody needs a good friend by the side sometimes and there are some people that don't have that. I've grown this up so that people have someone to relate to and talk to. Real realistically that's that's the whole point. That's why I try and get all my friends to meet each other so they can all learn and grow and stuff like that. And then we all love video games and we all have a lot of fun and we all have a lot of stuff to talk about. I talk about all these kind of things to all my friends about my personal stuff and that sort of thing and whether it be my friends in town that I know in person or the ones I talk to online, they all understand, they all get it, they've all been there. And I wouldn't be where I am now without any of them. They're great people. So, we all need that, right? So, yeah, I appreciate you guys for everything so far. Without without people to watch your videos and follow you, you're nobody. You're honestly nobody. And I'm still nobody. But I feel like I am somebody now because 80 people follow me. And I feel like that you guys are awesome because you take the time out of the day to watch my videos or spare a moment and um i appreciate you it's, it's great it's good to know that you know no matter what you do there are always people that will appreciate the effort you put forward and that's what's important you want to feel like you're making a difference and a lot of us don't get to feel that and i don't think i to make to be successful to be successful on youtube you've got to have like a great personality and be funny and be entertaining and that sort of thing and i don't really i don't really feel like i have that i don't feel like i'm that funny or entertaining or any of that sort of stuff but, I mean, I'm going to keep doing it anyway because it's fun. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. I don't, I don't think I'm that interesting to talk to, but that's just because I'm hard on myself. So, um, you know, a lot of you guys watching videos, obviously, there's something there. So, <laughs> so I appreciate you all. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to put in, right after this, it's going to be like a, it's like a two minute little fun montage that I made. Just some of my favorite videos I've recorded over the last year or so. Just, just a bit of fun. You know, just some random stuff like some cool moments where I've done something I didn't think I could do and some funny moments where I failed. And they're just a few random clips. They're not like clips from everything. They're not all the best moments. Like I might eventually do that in a video which is just like, you know, the best of kind of stuff. But these are just a couple of my favorite clips. And uh, just to, just to finish this off on a, on a positive note. So. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate you all and I hope that I can keep growing and keep entertaining you in the future if that's what I'm accomplishing. So, um, until the next video, 150, let's plow on, we'll give me some ideas uh, for a 200th video thing and we'll see what we can come up with for that, do something really cool. So, until then guys, this is Phantom 100, thanks for listening, thanks for the talk, and um, 
I'm signing out for now. See you next time. Be super aggressive and just go in, you know. I'm gonna guillotine this guy. Oh, believe I can fly. I can shoot arrows and go so high. Oh god, no, not against McCree's. I can't, I, just, I can't hit him. <gasps> That's what happens when you don't pay attention. What the fudge? That's what happens when you don't pay attention. What the heck? Where was that guy even come from? Yeah, this is just not my day. What else is here? Go away! You're kidding me! Oh! 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 What? I'm like, yeah, I caught Corfish. Corfish is a cool water Pokemon. He'll be great for the team. Groudon! A level 2 Groudon! He's coming at you like a bat out of hell now. Oh, Look, well, chill out, bro. Aragorn's a pro, and he like he found a shortcut because he's the king, but no, so, we have to run. So... Oh, why all these high noons? Oh my lord! Just let me yes, headshot, yes. Well, I rip. <laughs> oh, no, I'm dead. Maybe I had the wrong weapon out for that engagement. Oh, oh wow! I did not see that coming. We're all gonna super at the same time. Oh fudge! Bullets aren't gonna hurt him. It's just you're making him angry. You're you're, you're in trouble, mate. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he's um he's he's dead alright. Um mate. Oh. I'm just gonna loot him. <laughs>